let's talk about Michael Irvin. Cause um, uh, um, I seen this video, right? And I just want to speak on the video. I ain't going all into he lost his job and Super Bowl, all that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I want to talk about this video because I've been telling young men um, since I've been doing this podcast and shit. I've been telling y'all about I've been around niggas like Michael Irvin. You know, not rich niggas. I'm talking about regular little street niggas, trap niggas. You know, I'm talking about dope dealing niggas or whatever. But when they get around a bit, hey, man, quit touching that bitch, man. (laughs) This is why this is why I be on my Jay-Z shit. Nigga, I don't touch bitches. If I take a picture with a bitch, I don't have my arm around that bitch. I ain't touching that bitch. My arm ain't on her waist. You know what I'm talking about? She can't really touch me like that. I get on my Kevin Gay shit. Yeah, don't touch me. Yeah, the bitch can't really touch me like that. But this, listen, I was the nigga that after a while, niggas didn't want me to come around to the parties and the kickbacks and shit like that because they want to be. Listen, I got this one homeboy, right? True story. I'm not going to say where we was at. I ain't going to say no names. I ain't going to do all that. But if you know, you know. I never get one time. Me and my partner, we had like this party at uh at an apartment. At an apartment, right? It was we was throwing this party. And you know, um, you know, some bitches came through. We in there doing our thing. We in there getting drunk. You know what I'm talking about? Playing beer pong, all that shit, right? And it was this one bitch. That my partner wanted to smash so bad. And my partner, he he a big nigga. You know what I'm talking about? This, this ain't no little nigga. I'm talking about nigga like 6'1, six, 6'2. Six, you know what I'm talking about? 220. You know what I'm talking about? This ain't no little nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the bitch, the bitch was a slim ass bitch. I'm talking about a little slim, sexy little thing, right? So my partner, he sweating the bitch all night. He sweating the bitch all night. And she really wanted, let me say this too, she really wanted to fuck my partner, but I found out later, well, I ended up smashing the hoe later. She she really didn't give my partner no pussy that night because she wanted to impress me and shit. But nigga, I really wasn't checking for her like that. But anyway, the bitch in there playing hard to get like a motherfucker, right? So my boy just sweating, you know what I'm talking about? Every time I look around, we'll play out, every time, me, because he was my partner in beer pong, we'll play beer pong, nigga. I look back around, go make me a drink, turn back around, he back at that bitch. He all in her motherfucking face, right? The bitch just grinning, ha, ha, ha. The, listen, the same way in that Michael Irvin video, the bitch having conversation with him. She ain't making it weird. She ain't making it awkward. She's having the conversation. But every time he touched the bitch, she kind of like put, her, well, don't, don't, you know, you, you don't have to touch me. You know, she, she move her arm and shit. Nigga put his hand, his hand on her arm or some bitch move her arm or he touch her leg. She move her leg, move his hand off her leg. You know, she, the same shit that white bitch <laughs> was doing in that video. She was still talking to him though. You know what I'm saying? But you could tell the bitch was like, don't touch me. You know what I'm talking about? So finally, you know, it's getting later in the night. People starting to leave, right? So the bitch friend was ready to leave. You know, she was a fat bitch. She wasn't getting no play in that motherfucker. She ready to leave. But you know how them bitches be. You know, I ain't leaving without my friend. Bitch, your friend low-key trying to get fucked up in here, but you hating or whatever. But she gonna leave with you, though, just because y'all came together. You know, bitches just be like that. So, uh, the bitch stand up. I swear, y'all. Soon as she stand up, my homeboy grab her arm and sit her back down. And the bitch is like, hold on, hold on. Get your hands off me and shit like that. So I'm sitting on, on the other side of the room. I'm looking. I'm like, oh, man, this nigga. Because my boy drunk. I say, oh, man, this nigga finna get us a case in this bitch. And what you ain't finna do is get me in some shit. Because you won't be in some shit Because you can't control your shit That's what you ain't finna do So the bitch get up again And she start walking away My homeboy's just pretty much running behind the bitch So they get on the side of the room Because I'm closer to the door Where everybody leaving out They get on my side of the room The bitch, is walk, the bitch walking by Alright T, I'll I see you later I'm like alright, alright And my homeboy grabbed the bitch again Right in front of me He grabbed the bitch and stopped the bitch Oh, so you gonna leave I say, say man let that bitch go, man. I said it just like that, too. I said, hey, man, let that bitch go. 
Y'all should have seen how that bitch looked at me, but but she didn't say nothing because I was saving her ass real quick. I say, say, man, let that bitch go, man. And he was like, oh, t dog, man. I, I say, no, man. If that bitch walk out of here and go call the police or go tell her brother or tell anybody that a, a, niggas was in here trying to strong arm and make her do anything, I'm gonna shoot her brother, and then I'm a pistol whip you, fam. We gonna have problems. Now I ain't tell my brother I was gonna pistol whip him. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, boy, punch hard as a motherfucker, man. No, 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 I ain't tell him that. No, no, I'm just, that was a little sauce right there. You know what I'm talking about? But I pray, I basically told him like, hey, man, I'm not getting into no shit because you can't control your shit. Let that bitch go, man. So he let the bitch go and the bitch walk out. He was like, man, T-Dog, man, I almost had the bitch. I say, man, I've been looking over there all motherfucking night, nigga. You ain't almost had a shit, but a goddamn sexual harassment charge, boy. Quit touching, man, quit grabbing on bitches and shit. I said all that to say all that. I, all, I said all that to say this. I've been around niggas like Michael Irvin. Say, fam, don't touch that bitch. Man, don't touch that bitch, man. Now, when this happened, this was like 2011. This had to be around 2011 or some shit. You know, probably 2000. Was it 2012? It was somewhere around up in there. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Uh, if that was to be today and cameras and shit everywhere, my partner been on fucking camera looking like motherfucking Michael Irvin. Cause that's exact. When I seen the video of Michael Irvin and what he was doing, I went straight to that motherfucking moment in my life of my homeboy doing that shit. It was pretty much the same motherfucking shit. The bitch not tr the bitch don't mind conversation. She know you're a little saucy, you're a little drunk. You know what I'm talking about? She having the conversation with you. That ain't the problem. But sir. Get your fucking hands off the bitch. Don't touch the bitch. Listen, any young man that's listening right now, keep your hands off that bitch, man. Especially, especially today. Nigga, it's, it's March. It's, it's the end of March. It's still Women's Appreciation Month and all that. Man, don't touch that bitch. Especially, now, now, now the bitch that my partner was roughing up or, or trying to rough up, she was a black bitch. But Michael Irvin was in there putting his hands on that white bitch. Man, if that white bitch would have started crying. Yeah, you niggas be out here complaining about the white man and all that shit. Ain't nothing on this planet more dangerous than a crying white bitch. Trust me, nigga, I know. Man, that white bitch get to crying. Them people don't care what the fuck happened. You're going to jail, nigga. Shit. Man, when I seen Michael Irvin in there, I was like, damn, man, man, quit touching that bitch, man. I'm going to just say my homeboy name. <laughs> I almost replaced Michael Irvin name with my homeboy name. But listen, man, get your hands off that bitch, man. If I would have been that nigga, Michael Irvin probably would have been mad at me because I'd have told him the same thing I told my partner. Hey, get your hands off that bitch. But you get all us in some shit, man. You don't let me touching that bitch. Let that bitch go on by the business, man. All these bitches in here, man, and you want to grab on this bitch and try to make this bitch do something. Man, you can't make this bitch do that, man. <laughs> I found out later the bitch, the bitch didn't give my boy no play because she wanted to fuck me. She ended up fucking both of us. Don't get me wrong. But she was trying to impress me and shit. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Today's episode is sponsored by Atlanta Sports Trap. Located at 5615 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30088. Atlanta Sports Trap is your number one shop for all your sports apparel and your sports accessory needs. When it come down to sports jerseys, man, they got it all. From NBA, NFL, MLB, NCAA, down to MLS. Now, if they don't have it, all you gotta do is put in a request for whatever jersey you want. But just know this now, once you put in that request, say my nigga, you gotta prepay. Yeah, you gotta prepay. They got the Michelin S throwbacks, the Nike City Edition, Nike on field, Cooperstown, look here, bro. If you name it, they got it. Players jerseys who you forgot about, like Steve Francis, Latrell Sprewell, yeah, the nigga that choked niggas, Tim Hardaway, yeah, all that. You know they got the legends now. They got Michael Jordan, you know that, but check this out. Not 23, 45, yeah, 97 NBA Finals, you know what I'm talking about? All that Allen Iverson Georgetown jersey, <laughs> you know they got that. Yeah, they got any Kobe Bryant jersey you need now. That black one, 
with the Los Angeles, yeah, the cursive letters, yeah, that 96 thing, yeah, yeah, man, I had one there when I was 16, I stole it, but it was mine, that's a whole nother story, shipping is always free, and it's shipped the same day, if not the next, that's guaranteed, USPS first class shipping, unless you order three or more items, then it's ship two day priority, that's right, my nigga, two days, now you can follow them on Instagram at Sports Trap ATL, that's S-P-O-R-T-S-T-R-A-P-A-T-L for the niggas that can't spell, you can also hit them up on Facebook at Atlanta sports trap you gotta stay tuned for the new items and the new sales that they got coming soon they're gonna be giving away a bunch of uh giveaways too now so y'all make sure y'all turn them goddamn notifications on now here's the best part about the whole thing you know you can get something off my name you know what i'm saying hey when you check out use the promo code tdfm and you're gonna get 10 percent off yeah you know me nigga one of the few niggas you walk in the trap you say my name you might get the shit for free atlanta sports trap located at 5615 memorial drive stone mount georgia man y'all gotta go holler at them man go go check the ig out man everything fire you know what i'm talking about shit back to the show but yeah i had to tell my partner man get your motherfucking hands off that bitch man that's all i saw when i saw that michael irvin video man that's why i don't be touching these bitches out in public man yeah man i i need a whole lot of consent man yeah you ask any bitch that ever had the uh the, the pleasure of fucking with mr t man listen i'm the type of nigga i'm the type of nigga the bitch got to pretty much tell me to give her some dick. Because I'm going to chill with a bitch up until, you know what I'm talking about, until she make it very clear that she wants to give me the pussy. The bitch got to put the consent on top of the consent on top of another pile of consent. You know what I'm talking about? To get this dick out of Mr. T. I ain't touching that bitch. Straight up. What you ain't never going to. Now, <laughs> Lord, forgive me. But 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 I, I I might I might have to knock the lace off the front of the bitch. You know what I'm talking about? We're trying to strong on some pussy or strong on a bitch into fucking with me. You know, bitch might not keep bitch bitch might not keep her hands to a motherfucking self, and I gotta drop a motherfucking acme knot on her goddamn forehead. You know what I'm talking about? But you know what I'm talking about? As far as strong arming a bitch and trying to make a bitch give me some play, man, get your hands off that bitch. The fuck.